Society needs solutions that engineering and technology can provide, not just for today, but more importantly, for the next generation. Throughout history, innovation has come from the boundaries between engineering endeavours and other disciplines. But now the drive to align our methods and solutions with the needs, goals and desires of all society has never been greater. Many complex design and engineering problems that we as a society face require a joined up holistic approach that involves thinking and working across technical and non-technical areas. Integrating different perspectives with deep knowledge creates innovative and transformative solutions for our ever-changing world. The IET is perfectly placed to lead and drive this change to a cross-disciplinary approach. What can we do together? My early experiences of STEM subjects as a schoolboy, that's science, technology, engineering and mathematics, encouraged me to be inquisitive, to try and find new solutions. I was still only 15 when I set about building and then publishing a design for a phase lock loop motor speed control, leading to a journey of discovery in engineering and technology that's lasted over 35 years. For today's school children, the landscape is very different. Diversions are many, access to engineering hobbies are less, and university choice is wide. And so it's never been more important for our generation to rekindle the flame of invention in tomorrow's engineers and to show tomorrow's solution finders that engineering and technology can lead to a fulfilling and rewarding career. The BBC Microbit, co-sponsored by the IET, is a great step forward towards encouraging hands-on experience for school kids. We must build on the pioneering work already done in universities like UCL to devise ways that non-STEM A-levels can provide an entry ticket for students into our great profession, creating better diversity, particularly the gender opportunity, growing the pool of female talent from a current 10% split to an even 50-50. To do this, the IET should be central to building relevance for a more diverse and inclusive academic community. Through the encouragement of some great science teachers, I was inspired to aim for a place at university, studying, amongst other things, a master's degree at London University and focusing on cybernetics in medicine. Engineering in medicine was a new area of cross-disciplinarity and that experience was and has been central to my understanding of how the answers come from teams in collaborative collections of disparate practices. The X-ray tomography machine, developed by Geoffrey Hounsfield at EMI, is a classic example of the synergy between engineering, medicine and mathematics. We must grow to meet the needs of the 21st century society. In my career working across business, universities and in government, I saw the value of teams of disparate people with very different mindsets, creating new solutions through the interplay of their knowledge and experience. Engineering needs the involvement from social sciences, architects, designers and the arts and humanities. The IET can be central to inspiring, informing and influencing the cross-disciplinary agenda. My career has shown that a broad background experience can equip engineers to work not only across disciplines but also across sectors, public, private and academic. It is vital that professional engineering institutions and especially the IET are seen as learning institutions, developing the knowledge base, professional capabilities and tools that we recognise are essential. We must continue the work of previous presidents in developing and communicating the IET's knowledge capability, membership and volunteering propositions. Increasing relevance to and engagement with academics and practicing engineers. We must ensure that we both support deep knowledge creation and transfer while enabling knowledge to cross boundaries. We must channel and refine our discipline pool in new areas. And we must create ways of speeding up this process through better use of technology. My work at Edwards confirmed my belief that a cross-disciplinary approach was of paramount importance, but it also developed my hard and soft skills, and it heightened my understanding that putting client needs at the centre was essential for successful solutions. The IET can greatly assist in promoting work across disciplines, acting as a conduit to greater innovation. So, in my inaugural address as president of the IET, I want to open the debate about how, as a learned society, 
the IET can re-engage engineers and technologists to see the benefits of volunteering. We as members can help in finding solutions through actively participating in TPNs, sectoral policy panels or professional boards. It is only then that we as a wider society can get the benefit from the engineering accomplishments of the past. Only then that we can address the challenges facing engineering today. And only then find solutions to meet societal challenges, making the world not only a more technologically advanced and connected place, but also a more sustainable, safe, healthy and a better place to live.